Hey everybody, I'm Carter. And I'm Matt. And today we are going to be reviewing another weapon. We so today we are going to be starting a new kind of series that we're going to call Game Weapons in Real Life. Yeah. So basically it's what basically we weapon is, testing, but with yeah, game like weapons. Yeah, we uh, recreate like weapons from video games and we test them on like buckets Ooh. and sandbags and stuff. So today, first episode, this is the Pain Train from Team Fortress 2 for the demo man and soldier plus 25% capture speed but you take 10% more damage from bullets so uh let's see but and this. you're probably thinking it's just a board that's exactly what it is in the game it's just a board with nails in it yeah so, all right so here you can see we have a little something we call stitches helmet i thought the help didn't stitches really help stitches helm whatever helm of stitch it didn't really help him last time so uh See how it does against us. Oh my god, I put oh Okay, sorry about that. All right, let's go. Let's go. I just made it sideways completely. Back up, back up. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah, even if... And this is why it's called the pain train. Because it gives you pain. Stitch. I'd been wearing it. He probably... Yeah, he would have been myrtleized. You missed it. You hit it with the board. That didn't. Wait, hold on. Keep it in there. Keep it in there. Look at this. You can see two nails went all the way through. Yeah. All right. So next, we're going to try it. On sandbag. He's having difficulty. Yeah. Okay. All right. You next, got we're going to okay. turn the bucket sideways and hit it to see if we can get any more hit area. Wait. This time, could I use it? Cause last time no, we you had. No, you can use it on a sandbag. Oh, okay. Because we had safety precautions with the last one, and I couldn't... Yeah, just because reasons. Sorry, I can't Also, look at this. Thing. Just the impact force from it did that. Cracked this bucket. Yeah, that. Okay. Right, I'm going to roll my sleeves, because I don't want my hair to touch it. Yeah. All right, so now... Get over here! And that's what it does to a bucket. And now he's gonna try and break it, which is not the purpose. We're hammering it with nails. With a board. Look how far it went in. Look at this, I'm holding it up by the bucket. Yeah. Also, we probably won't be keeping any of these weapons. Yeah. Cause half of them break laws, I'm kidding. Don't call the police. Even yeah, though I do know how to make certain things. If you're even watching this, which probably not, no one will. But Matt, be yeah. optimistic. Okay. Matt, stay determined. It's Undertale. Dang. One more. Oh my god. Dude, look at this. <laughs> Boom. And pull, 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 Dude, look at this. I literally cut the top off. Okay. Not literally, but yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. Almost. Okay, so now, and that, as you can see, it's still pretty much intact. That is what it does to a bucket. So uh, we're going to take it over to a sandbag, which just so you know, is stationary, so we can't really move it and make it. I mean, there's two, it's in a That's water a box fan. full of water. That's a thingy. It's an adventure. It's, full, it's a litter oh. box full of water with two other sandbags in it, so it's not like it's moving anywhere. Okay, there's so, uh, ice. I will be taking the camera now. Okay. And Matt. Sorry for the crappy recording. Yeah, no. It's okay, bro. Okay, so now, as you can see, most of the nails are still intact, surprisingly enough. And we have Matt. Abadad Gaben. All right, so let's go. All right, okay, let's zoom in on this. All right, as you can see, it already made a ton of holes. Yeah, we we hit at it a few times. Also, we're gonna try and keep these videos short, like about ten minutes. All right, so stop for a sec. As you can see, there's a ton of holes, and we've ripped the bag easily. And watch out, watch how easy it pokes through the bag. Abdagaben. Abdagaben. Alright, so Matt, 
next, because I feel like I'm kind of cheating in here. Look at my rolled up sleeves. I'm so tough and amazing. <gasps> oh, oh, okay. okay stop. All right, so, that, so <laughs> I just hit him with a fence. He hit me with a shovel, I'm telling you. All right, so next, we're going to be taking this old bucket of mine. Or bucket. Tub. And Matt. Well, smashing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, I didn't see. It's perfectly intact, except for those two holes, but they are supposed to be there. Two Just holes. Just so everyone knows. The one right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, see it right yeah, there? Yeah, 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 okay, okay. I, 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 let's hit it with a stick. Hit it with a shovel. Okay, so wait, let's go. See? Instinct. Just one hit. Instinct. One hit. That. That that only took one hit. Four. So basically. Nine sorry, nine. I had the phone upside down. Apologies, apologies. But anyway. Four. Holy cat dude! Oh my god, you broke it. Yeah. There's, there's some right here. Dude, look at this. There's some right here. There's I know. Dude, look at this. Look. You see this guys? But anyway, yeah, this series is basically going to be testing the effectivity of, like, different weapons in games. Okay, so that's enough for that. Not yet. Yeah, Die. just wait, Matt, 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 look at me, look at me. Abdul Gaben. Okay. Abdul Gaben. Sorry. I, yeah. I, 